Assalamu alaikum bismillah rahman rahim today is my second lecture on the topic loss of consciousness or you can say impaired conscious state and today i will focus on hypoglycemia which leads to loss of consciousness but before going to hypoglycemia i would like to explain the definition of loss of consciousness because many people ask me that please do mention your definition for for better understanding so what is loss of consciousness loss of consciousness is unarousable state in which the patients are unable to open their eyes voluntarily what does it mean the patient will not be able to open his eyes voluntarily number and are non responsive to verbal and painful tactile stimuli what does this sentence mean that the patient who is in the state of loss of consciousness he will not be able to respond to the verbal stimuli if you ask him something if you call him his name he will not respond and the second is painful st- tactile stimuli if you pinch him or if you prick him with some instrument so he will not respond to the pain and the fourth one is unaware of their surrounding the patient in the state of impaired consciousness will not be aware of his surrounding that what's going on now you are sitting in the opd or in the clinic or in the emergency but majority of the patient come to the emergency so if the patient come in the state of impaired consciousness and you are considering him in as hypoglycemic patient so you will do a simple test blood glucose level after examining him after uh, but please watch my first lecture so you should know how to approach to the loss of conscious patient la impaired conscious in the impaired conscious state so a hypoglycemic patient come to you and you did the test like blood glucose level and if it is less than 3 millimolar per liter or 55 mg per deciliter some book mention 60 mg per deciliter is consider hypoglycemic so you will say that this patient is in the state of hypoglycemia hypo mean low and glycemia mean low glucose level in the blood so the patient in the hypoglycemic state might not be in the state of impaired consciousness first he might present with the symptom like autonomic disturbance he will having sweating he will having anxiety he will having hunger he will hang tremor like trembling sensation in the hand he will hang palpitation what is palpitation it is a sensation of feeling a pounding or racing of the heart that something is uh, or uh, something is racing in your heart or unpleasant awareness of your heart beat this number second symptom is neuroglycemic neuro mean neuron and glycemic mean low glucose level so the patient might be confused might be in the drowsy state might be having visual trouble like he will not be able to see something having blurring up vision uh, he might go into the state of seizure or into the state of coma so you are sitting in emergency and the patient come to you in the loss of consciousness state so you are you are considering him as hypoglycemic patient you did the test and you rule out these symptom now you are focusing why he faced this symptom why he is in the hypoglycemic state so the first who is the person who faced hypoglycemic state is diabetic the patient might be diabetic might not be diabetic but majority of the patient are diabetic so the diabetic patient why they go to the hypoglycemic state because they are taking insulin they are taking medicine for their diabetic control which lead to hypoglycemic state so the common and the first thing which leads to hypoglycemia and the diabetic patient is overdose of these medicine like he uh, he took the insulin or medicine more than the required so the the first thing is overdose of insulin or tablet or he might miss the meal mid miss the lunch or dinner or breakfast or he did the activity more than the required increase activity leads to 
hypoglycemia in diabetic patient. Now the non-diabetic patient which leads to hypoglycemic state are the first one is bodybuilder who go to gym and want to make their body. They use insulin for their stamina so while using insulin they are, they are misusing it so for their stamina they go into the state of hypoglycemia and present with these symptoms. The second is liver failure. The liver failure patient might go to the hypoglycemic state. Addison disease, the medical student will understand what does Addison disease mean. Will go to the hypoglycemic state. Tumors in the pancreas, there are lots of tumors like insulinoma. I will explain in the endocrine system. So this will lead to hypoglycemia. And the drug which leads to the hypoglycemia are aspirin, the simple drug, the simple medicine, tesprin, which sometimes the patient, uh, the person, or the patient, or the people misuse it, leads to hypoglycemia. The second medicine or drug is beta blocker. Beta blocker are come with the name of Enderol, and the generic name is propanolol or certain other groups, leads to hypoglycemia. Number third is AC inhibitor used for hypertension like high B blood pressure also go, leads to hypoglycemia. So now you have diagnosed the patient that the patient is having hypoglycemia. How will you manage him? First, if he is in the conscious state, if he is conscious, give him 15 to 20 gram carbohydrate like 200 ml orange juice. Give him 200 ml orange juice and observe him for 10 to 15 minutes and check his blood glucose level if it is more than 4 millimore uh, per liter so he he must be in the conscious state he uh, after you uh, found that the glucose level is 4 millimore per liter or if you didn't respond to it you can repeat this management step three times number second if he is conscious but uncooperative, give him a glucose gel or put a glucose gel on uh, his gums or uh, teeth. Number third is if he is unconscious or if he is conscious but not responding to the above management, give him 10% IV glucose at the rate what 200 ml per hour. In one hour you should give him 200 ml IV glucose in the conscious patient but if the patient is unconscious give him 10% IV glucose at, at the speed of 200 ml per 15 minutes. You can also give intravenous glucagon to the patient of hypoglycemia. So this was all about the hypoglycemia. The patient will come to with the sweating, anxiety, hunger, tremor, palpitation, dizziness or in the confusion state, drowsiness, visual trouble, seizure, coma, do a simple test, blood glucose level, check if the level is less than that, so it is hypoglycemia and the, if you want to know so if he is diabetic, non-diabetic, I mentioned it and the management step are these. Thank you. Jazakallah to all of you. Assalamu alaikum.